gets it out to Ferry. Ferry back towards Rule. And Rule commits the foul. From Rule into Ferry, but the sweep, sweeping tackle from Hannah Armstrong keeps the ball. Goal. Dorwart back to lap to Dorwart. Dorwart chips it away. Oh, good steal by Dorwart. He's got Shogger in front. And a strong defensive play. Essentially final period. Dorwart. Loses her footing. Put in the circle and a shot and a goal.
Send it to you. Get it! Somebody get it in! Good job! Good job.
one over That's for the That's the Royals Cowboys. ball. Big hit it's into the big middle. Big hit into the middle. Number seven does left wide open. Yes. Hood called another great defensive stop. Shots on goal, two to two. Very two even teams right now competing for a win. If I was Hood College, I would uh, try to get the ball into the stick of number 24, Kate Hoffey. She has been all over the field today. She's got a cannon. She has a cannon. She can send that ball. Sends it in. It's going to go to number 12, who's then going to make a quick pass to 10, Abby Chavetta. Feeds it um, into the middle, feeds it back, back in. Back to Chavetta. It's inside. Goalie. Oh, great defensive play by number 25. Sends it up the field right into Hood College's Number possession. 12, Hannah Armstrong. Good pass to Abby Chavetta. She's going to make one more. Through the leg. Great pass. ball. Big hit, sent it up middle. Well handled by number 12, Hannah Armstrong. She's going to be patient, look for the, an open teammate, and makes a great pass to 22, Kate Benz. And intercepted by number 25, Collins again. Man, Eastern Mennonite came out of that first quarter with just a sense of urgency. You can kind of see it in their play right now. They're kind of dominating this sec the beginning of this second quarter. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. And she's going to stop the play. Great defense by Hood. Hood College has number five open up Sage field. Barnhart. Can't find her, though. And Ball number goes. 24, Ball goes Brady out of Troutman. Another defensive stop. Sage Barnhart pushing the pace. Looks Good. at number 18, the cap. Through the legs of number three, and now number 10 has something to work with, but she is just not quick enough. Number, number 12, 12 turned on the absolute burners. Hannah Armstrong, great defensive presence on the back line, um, and she's going to initiate the play here. And we'd like to give a quick shout-out to Nate. Nate, quick shout-out. 40 feet out, just a great shot on goal just off the – just, just off. Bob's number 80, playing the ball. Great ball. Big hit. This and is it's up just for a grabs foot here. race. It's a foot race to the ball. Number, number two. two has a step. It looks Rashana like Shauna Brown's going to come out. out. That's good defense. Turnover. And she Ooh. just, she does. Number two on Eastern Mennonite taps the ball out of bounds. Lord Tabman will look to resume play. Eastern Mennonite scored on a penalty corner. Maybe Hood can do the same. They're going to pass to number 12, Hannah Armstrong. Who's going to look inside. The ball Open gets shot. Four. Great Ooh, save what by a that save goalie. Save by Eastern Mennonite. Four will be hitting this it. Fourth quarter. Ooh, needed that shot. There you go. Great there. play by number 12, Hannah Armstrong. Unfortunately, the Royals get the ball back. This number. Good look inside, but better defense. Maroons with another opportunity for a score. They inbound it. Renarelli dishes it out to her teammate. And another shot. Another shot blocked by the goalie. There's another shot that tries to sneak in, but it won't go for the Maroons. And they will get another shot, and that will be another save by Brown. Maroons keep. Hood gets in their own territory. Good hit to midfield by Hood getting it back now. They'll pass back to their own territory. Trying to get some separation from the Maroons. Renarelli fighting for it. She's got it. She'll pass out to her teammate, Keys, but that's taken away by Hood. Sophia D'Agostino has it. Plenty. Newly entered into the game. Excuse me, that's not Julius. It's Lindsay Keys for Roanoke. Different number 13 as Roanoke trying to get another shot off. 
Overhead pass, great pass by the Maroons. Feed from Hurley inside to Abby McCusker. Maroons trying to get a shot off again. Clustered inside near the goal. That'll get kicked out. Good prevention by Hood College to keep the Maroons at just a one nothing lead. Decent sized crowd here today at Donald J. Kerr Stadium for the Maroons. Um, support for their field hockey team. That'll help. Good shot by Runnick to get it over to Hood territory again. Keys hustling for the ball. Trying to make a sneaky move as that will be hit away by Hood. Good, good save. Maroons flocking to the ball. Trying to get another goal for the Maroons. Three on one won't help her, but she gets it back. Maroons leading 3 nothing over Hood College. As a player will fall to the ground for the Blazers. Quick to get back up though.
currently leads the way in both points and goals for the Falcons. Four goals, 11 points on the season so far, especially after a strong week last week. And earning her of our 4 and 2 record, a 77 save percentage, only allowing one and a half goals per game. Is that pass in? Crossed into the middle by the Falcons. Get out, easy to read, easy to see. Yeah. That is the only issue with the press box being here at the midfield stripe. It's really hard to tell when we get those scuffles like that up in front. All for the Blazers. Yeah, Rashana Brown is playing amazing in between the cage for the Blazers. Yeah, Rashana Brown, starter in goal for the Blazers as a pickup here for Johnson. Johnson dribbling it along the baseline, tried to get it in front, poked out. As they will look to get the first real good scoring opportunity of both teams here this evening. Only a minute 10 into this one. Whistle blows and the ball is back out to the top of the arc. Opting to pass up top instead of taking a quick one-time shot are the Blazers. And the ball finds its way into the net. Wow. Question is, who was the one that got the last touch on it? And that's huge for the Blazers. Coming in on the road, quick replay off the penalty shot. Just found, not sure who it was, but they were. They're giving that one to number 28, Phoebe Frost. Not even sure what happened. No, I didn't entirely see what happened. I know there was a bit of a scuffle there on the sideline, so I suppose I'm not surprised. Can't quite take it away, do the Blazers, so the Falcons hold on to it. Lauren Subert working up the far sideline. Now getting passed into the middle, into the arc. Shot taken, passing front for the Falcons. Megan North could put it in. Wow. And turnover. Man, let me tell you. That, that Blazers defense. Rachana Brown is, is playing, playing like. Trying to get it out of the midfield and start back into their offensive end. Yeah, if you're the Blazers, you want to you wanna pressure up on it. Number 33, threes. Might call her Rashana Brown, the goalie. That's fantastic defense. Number three, Tatman, but 24 gets behind her. Looks for a shot, but a great defensive stop here by Hood College. Number and a 12, bit of Hannah Armstrong, the senior captain. And here we have another foot race. That's number 10, I'm a, I'm sorry, Ellie Pruitt. She's not going to win it. There's the senior captain able to boot it away. Bench getting quite rowdy. Someone getting the yellow. Number 12 on Easter. Morgan Unruh with the yellow card. Love the effort, but sometimes. Another penalty corner again. Julia go. Dean set to hit it off. Gives it up to 18. 18 again over. Right back to her. Back over to 18. She has space. Baxley going to have it one. it in. Just a scrum. Oh. That's number 10 for Eastern. Ali Pruitt. And Junior. great defensive stop here by Hood College. But right Ooh. back to Eastern. Oh. Eastern loud. Oh, that's a nice pass. Number 12. Pass, but right into Eastern's possession. Now, a dangerous spot here for Hood College. Defense has to make a big play, in which they do, and they get it right back out. Number 25.
senior from La Plata, Maryland, number 12, Hannah Armstrong. A first year from Tewksbury, New Jersey. Now here they have, looking for something here, they send it in. One. Oh, oh. Sophie D'Agostino. And oh, there's a foot rule. race. And Hannah Armstrong. Armstrong to Wiley Sr. And now checking back in, Kate Hoffey. Hood again will be trying to get that ball up onto its side of the field. They haven't been able to establish a lot of possession against this tough LVC team so far. deflection on that ball. Fantastic pass by LVC to not try to look inside. Great idea, but for all, Armstrong read it like a book. Yeah, that was a good job by Armstrong to get in front of that hard pass into the middle. It looked like LVC might be able to yeah. get a chance out of that, right. but a great play by Armstrong. Hood survives. Good job by wow. a good job by LVC to recover. They tried to transition here though and Hood manages to cut that off. Hannah Armstrong would turn the blade, turn the, the, the blazers on. Absolutely chasing that ball down. Lebanon Valley, NBC. Diagostino tried to thread the needle there through three Dutchmen, and it just didn't work. But here's a takeaway by Hannah Armstrong. Armstrong. Ooh, it's quick sticking it. That was that was a fantastic step over. But there's Sorel Long. You know, take advantage of those openings. Couldn't quite execute. Anna Armstrong with the ball, looking at Phoebe Frost. Hannah Armstrong, 
pass gets through. I thought that was going to get intercepted. But Kate Bentz up to Sophie Diagas. Shana Brown, we had to move from post to post. And, um, you know, Lebanon Valley did a really good job of moving Brown from pipe to pipe and then exposing the, the space that she left. Yeah, it was really a well-planned out corner, like you said. They sent it into the far post and then passed it. We got Kate Bentz as one of the players, I believe, up top. Barnhart will look at Hannah Armstrong. Armstrong to Benz. Benz can't quite connect. He's going to look at Hoffy. Hoffy's going to get a 5-9. 5-9 first year midfielder from Elizabethtown, PA. She's got the ball right now. Hannah Armstrong, she's going to go. Again, kind of may play the same way these first three have gone. Oh, no. Hannah Armstrong does a fantastic job of getting to that ball. I thought 20. Ball, that's back. Hannah Armstrong is there. So, ooh. Little contact. She's going to take a tumble. Fell on her shoulder. She's still down there for a second. Yeah. Looks like she's trying to get up. Shoulder looks a little tender to say the very least. She hasn't really moved it too much. Moving it now, trying it out. She's in pain. She's trying to be a warrior. She's a senior captain. One of the players that sets a tone every day in practice. Her after it hit off her stick on that yeah. last one because it looked like a good interception. Dean with her second deflection. That's going to stay with, that's going to go to Hood. Dutchman have to start these quarters. We'll see if they can do it one final time. Scores 3 nothing. Hood really has to dig deep. And immediately almost into the circle right out of that start here, the fourth quarter. So again, Barty, right, bringing the energy. Um, but, you know, Hood just has to really do a good job of starting better. It seems like maybe there's nerves or whatever the case may be. But once they settle down and they get to play in their game, you know, they, they've done, they've hung with the Dutchman mm -hmm. at, at the very least. Two minutes and 23 seconds into the period they scored. So Hood again trying to weather a fast start by LVC, try to keep that from happening. I'm trying to be a warrior. She's a senior captain. One of the players that sets a tone every day in practice. Also the president of Hood's SGA, the Student Government Association. She really? Uh, good for her. She missed miss do it all. Ooh. That ball rolled away before the restart. That, that was Hannah Armstrong is there once again. Said her name so many times today. From Lebanon Valley player with the turf. Turf monster. Plus combination game. He's looking to add to that tonight. Three goals are named on Notre Dame. That's Allison Geckel. Showing some, some skill. Weaving and bobbing. Bobbing and weaving. That ball had a little bit of air under it. Uh, late whistle. But dangerous play there hitting at that high with a bunch of people in the middle of the field. Dean's had to kick his start us off. Dean to Tatman. Tatman's going to make that one more pass. Armstrong will let it go. That's Frost. Frost back to Armstrong. Armstrong's going to have one. And it's going to find the back of the net. That's the senior captain, the defender, one of the cornerstones of his team, and Armstrong. Well-deserved goal from number 12. I think the rain stopped out here tonight. One more pass. It's Phoebe Frost. Geckel's in hot pursuit. Davis isn't going to come out and play it. If Geckel can maybe force a turnover. What fight from number two. Tame, sophomore from Purcellville, Virginia. Three goals. Frost. Here's Armstrong. Armstrong going to pass to Tatman. Tatman's got green. Geckel's in pursuit. Navy going to play it back. That's Armstrong. Armstrong one more. Flipping fields to Shawbetta. First year from San Jose, California. It's and dry. Watching some great field hockey. Oh, it's having a great day offensively. Julia Dean. She's going to look at Armstrong. Armstrong can't get the shot off. And that will do it for your first quarter here in Thomas Ludic Field. Your hood. Oh. They'll continue to play that corner out. Even after the buzzer, the one-man wrecking show. 
Wrecking Crew, excuse me. Diagostino, send it. Diagostino with the first touch. Tyvin with the second. Tyvin's just going to play it back to Armstrong. Armstrong to Shalvetta. Shalvetta can't quite hit under 50 seconds. Now under 20. No, come on, we're under 20. We, we're looking at a reflection right. in the window, and the twos and the fives are a little uh, confusing. by Barnhart are tied for the fifth most in Division Three this year. Right. I, I can't imagine her night is done. Still a full quarter to play, but senior captain, it wouldn't surprise me. I hope not, just for the <laughs> statistician's sake. Called wide past the goal. As I mentioned, the start of our homecoming weekend events here call out the starters first for the Blazers and then for the Golden Wolves. Number three, Laura Tapman. Number five, Sage Barnhart. Number 10, Abby Schiavetta. Number 12, Hannah Armstrong. Number 16, Kylie R As I mentioned, came in with a record of seven and four, dropping their last bout to Susquehanna on Tuesday night. One nothing, a close game. Really a battle of the defenses as the Golden Wolves look to attack again. This is for Getz. And the Blazers doing a good job of taking that one away. The Golden Wolves will get the ball. As I said, our last game for the Golden Wolves dropped to Susquehanna and the Riverhawks won nothing. But for the Hood College Blazers... With it now for the Blazers, that's number 12, Hannah Armstrong. Armstrong sends it over to the far side, guarded by Chiviera. This ball is sent well up. Buck sends that one in. And now with it on this near side is Chivetta. Aggressive play style here, or they tend to take it back to a conservative play style. up on the Hood College Blazers 6 nothing, and the Golden Wolves wasting no time getting back on the offensive attack as Smee tries to send that one in for the for the Golden Wolves I think this has been a really good thing to see after not being able to score against the Riverhawks on Tuesday night as in that first half the Golden Wolves having 15 corners granted to them to the Blazers 0 13 shots on goal Gregory meets the ball there, and that's intercepted by Rosler. Rosler trying to get by Hess, unable to do so, and now Hess sends it out for Spies. Spies with some room to run. Great defensive recovery there by Armstrong to come over and stop that attack by Spies. And Armstrong will generate possession for her team. Sends it up for Rosler. Rosler tries this one extra man. It is Hannah Armstrong. Hannah Armstrong sends it back for Tapman. Out of the pitch. Pushing up Males. Slides it to Kosanovich. He's trying to go back towards the middle, but not Riley Leakway. And in goal, of course, is Jamie Fritz, the senior from Germantown, Maryland, by way of Clarksburg High School. Fritz on the season. Hurst has it taken right off of her stick, trying to get it back, not able to. Just passes down, creating more opportunities. Kasanovich, 13 seconds now. Ingersoll needing a little help. She was looking for Lebanon Valley on Friday. 4:30 matchup there before they return home next Wednesday. Take on Messiah. Next time we see the Mustangs here at Owings Mills East. Dean was stepping in and trying to create the chance for the Blazers who realize at this point they got to throw everything at the Mustangs. Whatever they got left, they got to throw it at them. Dot edu slash career. 
for the fourth quarter here at Owings Mills East. Stevenson leading Hood 2-0. Again, if you haven't been with us, the Mustangs have been dominant today. The 5'6 sophomore from Dover, Delaware by way of Dover High School. Another opportunity in front. But you see Brown protecting well, coming out. What if you... Interesting Mustangs were picked sixth. hit here it'll be the senior Hannah Armstrong one of the blazer captains get called for a foul it's a nice save by Rashawn Brown on that keeping it out out of harm's way a good opportunity there for your an opportunity there for number 17 Macy Collison First sub of the game for York is number nine, Anna Samoas. The junior forward out of Timonium, Maryland, a Maryland native. Hardman sends it ahead for York. Anna Armstrong sends this one out wide to Nebe on the near sideline. Dewey took a swing and almost missed that one. So Hannah Armstrong came out to really challenge one of the top defenders for Hood. Nebe with Hood almost escaped with the ball there, but York just giving him no room to breathe. And Hood will benefit from that foul. As we said, Jeff, the Blazers have really been standing up. on the near sideline. That was by Libby Wild, number 25. Armstrong pokes it out wide to Nebe. Nebe, you know, in the middle. Barnhart gets it to Bence. But Hood at this point working backwards. York's defense just pushing the Blazers back towards midfield. Armstrong ahead to Rossler. So 5-0 now the Blazers trail. Would have had a transition attempt for the Blazers. 
Armstrong was battling. takes the ball right back there. I believe it's shooting. Heavy on! 